I'm Morgan Murphy. I have traveled 10,000 miles this summer to find the very best food in the South. Come along with me as I show you the South's best restaurants off the Eaton Path. So today we're in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Now Jonesboro is known for a lot of stuff. It's a farming town, it's a college town. It's not known for being a particularly hip town. If you're into stereotyping, which I'm not, because one of the hippest bars in the South is right here in Jonesboro. It's called Gatti's Grill. Let's go in and have a bite. I'm here at Godsey's Grill with Lisa Godsey. Lisa, thanks for having me. Wonderful, welcome, welcome. This is so cool, this bar. So tell me about your bar and restaurant. We've been open uh, three years. We have a very eclectic menu. We have eight pages. How do you fill eight pages? With a lot of stuff that people love. And I, you know, we, everything that we do here is made in-house. Every morning it, we get fresh meat in, we hand form the patties, there's nothing frozen here, it comes out fresh. That is why their burgers are so awesome. Right. And you've won best burger all over town. Right, we, we, took, we took, uh, this year in a Cajuns magazine, we took best burger, we took best restaurant, and uh, best bartenders, we've got numerous awards this year. And you've got the only wood-fired pizza oven in town. Correct, she That's gets just... up about uh, 600 degrees. We have all kinds of pizzas. We have our own dough, we use fresh basil, fresh ingredients. Uh, that type of thing whenever we're, we're making our pizzas. So. Now, next to the wood pile out back. A wood pile out back is a sign of a great barbecue restaurant. Exactly. You do your own barbecue too. Yes, we do our own barbecue. We have two big smokers out back. We smoke our own turkey, we smoke our own chicken, we smoke our own chicken wings. So everything goes on the smoker. So you're gonna show me how to base some barbecue? Yes, I will. Well, let's go do it. Okay. We're out here in the inner sanctum of Godsey's Grill here at the smoker. Thanks for showing me the smoker. Not a problem. Let's see where all the magic happens. What this, are we smoking today? Right, right now on this one we have our pork butts Ooh. that are smoking for the uh, pulled pork sandwich. Oh man, you can really smell that in pretty good. And what we do is we rub them down with mustard, put the barbecue seasoning on them, let them sit on here for about an hour, and then we start basting them with the mop sauce. We'll get the mop sauce right here. All right. And I can't, I really can't tell you what this is. Okay. Because this so is, this is the secret sauce. This is the secret sauce that keeps everything going. Every barbecutioner, Same. you know, has their secrets. We do this for this. And then of course, all of our chickens and chicken wings are out there on the other smoker. We have two smokers. Awesome. So we take it. And you're using just hickory here? Yep, just hickory, straight hickory. And it keeps it moist and puts a little extra flavor on it. And then we just let it sit. And then we'll go out and take a look at the chickens. Man, you've got a lot of food going on out here. Yep, we do this every day. Every day. Yep. And like I said, these wings, we do them a little different than whatever anybody else does. Because we smoke them up to a certain point, and then when you take them in and when you order your wings, we fry them. So they're smoked fried wings. Whenever you get a chicken wing, you get it uh, either wet or dry, and you can get it with uh, just a barbecue seasoning on there, or you can actually get it with barbecue sauce or hot sauce. Man, these look so great. Are they great? They look really succulent. I just want to stick my whole head in here. <laughs> this smells so awesome. I cannot wait to dig into this fantastic hog wild dip that I've heard so much about. It is, I wish you could smell this. It just smells like a barbecue. I didn't know you could improve upon barbecue, but you can by making it a dip. And look at this pizza. It is full of onions and peppers and mushrooms. Mm. And crunchy. Look at that. That is so good. I'm gonna eat this whole thing now. If I disappear, call intensive care here in Jonesboro. That's where I'll be on a pizza overdose. That is so good. You've got to get to Jonesboro, Arkansas and try the pizza and the hog wild dip at Godsey's. You're gonna love it.